Well, good evening from CT Squared Ranch. You know, tonight's gonna be a little something different than I usually talk about. And you're wondering, why am I watering? Yes, we've had plenty of rain, but I also have containers. But someone to talk about, one of the guys at work today brought it up to me. He said, hey, I watch uh, things on YouTube about gardening. So question I had was, how many of you out there watch YouTube videos about gardening? I mean, obviously if you're watching this one right now and you're not a good friend of mine, you're watching videos about gardening on YouTube. You can't trust everything everybody says on YouTube. Uh, think about it this way. When they say, oh, you can't plant this this time of year. Or, oh my gosh, you should never plant this item. Well, you know, why not? What zone are they in? Actually, do you know what zone you're in? What zone are they in? Plant what you want to. Do what you want to. Start growing. I look at it like this. Nobody that's on YouTube knew anything about gardening until the first time they started planting a garden. Now, is my garden growing the exact way it needs to be? Am I doing everything I'm supposed to be? <laughs> Heck no. I'm way outside the norm. People tell me, oh, you need neem oil. You need to do this, you need that. Yeah, just do what uh, my grandmother, great-grandmother, my father, and uh, family friends did the entire time I was growing up. And it works, it works. Don't believe everything, hoes got hung up. Don't believe everything you see on YouTube. When they get out there and they have the little pouty face, oh my God, I almost killed all of my vegetables. You know, clickbait. I'm not a clickbait kind of guy. Nobody should be a clickbait person at all. And part of the reason I'm making this is these kids are out here, cucumbers. Oh, you planted them too far in the soil. They've got to be straight up on top or they're not going to grow. These kids are growing. This kid is looking for some place to go. This weekend, I'm gonna put the trellis up for it. But, as I was saying, don't believe everything you see on YouTube. Um, there's scare tactics out there, there's clickbait that's out there. You know, a lot of people on YouTube, they're like, I need a million followers. I need to get where I can make money. Well, I'm not doing that. It's like I've told y'all before, I'm doing this to show stuff to my friends and family around the world. Right now, I'm watering lettuce that a lot of people have told me, oh, you can't be growing lettuce in Texas this time of year. Well, it's looking pretty good. See some of the staining on there, that's from the mushrooms that came up because of the badass soil that we've got. You can't grow radishes. Well, those are radishes back there. I'll be harvesting those this weekend. Go back and think about what your people used to do when they were doing gardens back in the day. And if you don't have people that you can refer back to and stuff, go back and Look at some of the farmer's almanacs. Look at some of the things that are out there online about how to grow a garden. Don't look at videos. Look at some of the stuff from trusted sources. You know, whatever state you're in, county you're in, whatever, there's always going to be an agricultural extension service. And they're going to have a lot of stuff out there 
that you can uh, you can lean on, you can read, you can learn. This isn't rocket scientist or rocket science. Think about this. Our ancestors were doing this stuff long before Abraham Lincoln invented the internet. So trust me. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Don't emulate what I do. Because what works for me in Texas, in zone 8A, may not work for you in zone 3B or whatever. I have no idea where zone 3B is. I just pulled it out. But trust me. When they say don't do this, don't do that, my question is, why? Why not? When they say don't grow this, why? Why not grow it? You want to grow it? Grow it. A lot of them will say, well, it's not going to be cost effective for you. It's not going to save you money at the grocery store. I'm not looking to save money at the grocery store. I am looking for stuff that I've grown myself. And me and my bride have decided we like. And we're going to go forward with so, moving forward, I appreciate you visiting my channel, but whatever I'm doing doesn't necessarily mean it's right. Use your own judgment and do a lot more research than just videos. Frankie out.